Ben Toffolo, John LeMessure, and Clive Dunn in Dad's Army. <laughs> A Stripe for Fraser, featuring John Laurie, James Beck, and Ian Lavender, with this week's guests, Jeffrey Lumsden and Michael Knowles. <laughs> Here is the news, and this is John Snag reading it. It is now June 1940, and the war carries on without mercy as Germany tries to show her supremacy. In Britain, the part-time volunteer army, now called the Home Guard, has readily swung into the routine of parading every evening after work. At Warrington-on-Sea, the 1st Platoon D Company is no exception. And at St. Aldham's Church Hall, the parade is just starting, with Sergeant Wilson putting his men through their paces. Sergeant, Dr. Turn. 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 Stand at ease. Yeah. I thought that whole movement lacked verve. <laughs> uh, try and put a bit more sparkle into it. All right, now. Dude! Oh, come on, come on, Corporal Jones. Where have you been? Uh, I'm sorry I'm late, Sergeant. Yes, well, fall in and try and be on time in the future. Yeah, I wouldn't have been late, Mr. Wilson, but you see, the offal comes today. <laughs> and they haven't sent no suit. Yes, all right, all right, Jones, all right. All right, but don't... It's been one of those days, you see. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, we have to get on with the parade, you know, yes. in spite of the absence of your yes, suits. Yes. I promised Mrs. Prosser the WBS, you see. She was doing dumplings, you see. She don't like the lads to go without their dumplings. Yes, all right. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, two. The lads think very highly of Mrs. Prosser's dumplings. You see. <laughs> Be quiet, Trace. All right, now, two. Two. Attention. Shut. Sure. Yes, 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 yes. How are you all standing there for? You know what this is, don't you? It's a rattle, isn't it? It's a warning that the enemy are attacking with gas. Now, what are you waiting for? I thought the Arsenal were playing at home. <laughs> we're still at attention. It's up to Sergeant Wilson at the end there to take his finger out. Fraser. Aye, sir. You will not use that sort of expression concerning my NCOs either on or off parade. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Good. At the same time, Wilson, I think it is up to you to take, a, to take some action. Aye, sir, yes. Right. right. Gas attack! Gas attack! On the command fallout, put in the gas mask. All right. Four! Yeah, well, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. You'll have to be quicker than that. You're all choking by now. Come on, Walker. What's the matter with you? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm having a bit of trouble with the case, Mr. Manor, and it's the uh, strap. Well, come on. Can't you feel it creeping into your lungs? You can't breathe. Oh, come here, Walker. Give it to me. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's all right. It, it, oh. Walker. What have you got in there? Whiskey, sir. <laughs> Whiskey? Do you realise you could be court martial for this? Well, it's for Sergeant Wilson. Wilson? Oh, yeah. What have you got to say about these bottles? Uh, well, sir, uh, <clears throat> are these bottles yours or are they not? Uh, well, uh, yes, sort of. What kind of an answer is that? Well, it's not all mine, sir. Uh, only one bottle. I see. Who else is in this conspiracy? Put your hands up. All right, Sergeant, take the names. That's rather difficult, sir. But their gas masks on. I can't see their faces. <laughs> really, Wilson, I never knew a man like you for making excuses. Well, I, I suppose I could put little chalk crosses on them and take their names later. Sergeant, these are fighting troops, not Ali Barber and his 40 thieves. <laughs> How would it be, sir, if you declared the gas alert over? All right. Right. Now, once again, which of you asked Walker for this black market stuff? Put your hands up. Now take their names, Wilson. Right, sir, yes. Uh, let's see, now, Jones, Godfrey, Fraser... Hey, is there a regulation that stops a Scotsman from buying whiskey? Get yeah, back in your place, Fraser. All right. What else have you got in here? Your cigar, sir. <laughs> Shall I add the name Mannering to the list, sir? <laughs> no, 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 no. Leave it for the moment. Now, listen to me, you chaps. I want you all to practice getting into your gas mask in double quick time. So that if Hitler does bowl this cowardly weapon at us, it'll be a no ball. Did you hear that, Junji? If he bowls, it'll be a no ball. What a lot of blather he comes to Stop with. talking in that act, Fraser. Corporal Jones, carry on supervising the gas mask, Jones. Very good, Tip. Now, well, come on, go. I want you to shove your mushy smartly into the face, please. <laughs> Friend Wilson. Now, I, uh, I bought myself something today. Mm -hmm. I've got opinion on it. There. New hat. What do you think? Oh, I say. Oh, it's rather dinky. 
I think the salt with a beak suits me better than the porridge cap. Oh, yes, sir, yes, much better, yes. Yes, your face doesn't look nearly so round and moon-like as it normally does. <laughs> really? Yes, I do so much for you. I, I, I really think I must get one. Oh, no, no, you can't do that. These are for officers only. Oh, yes, I might have guessed. Anyway, it wouldn't suit you. Hmm? The jauntiness of the forage cap offsets that craggy, careworn, undertaker manner of yours much better. Oh, thank you, sir, thank you. Uh, who's first out on patrol tonight? Uh, well, uh, sir, I... Um, <clears throat> according to the rotor, it should be young Pike. But his mother has reported him sick. I didn't think you were speaking to the Pikes. Oh, yes, yes, I, I'm speaking to them, see. It's just that they're not speaking to me. <laughs> Is that rather note, you know, in the strongest terms? Yes, I'm not surprised. What do you expect after leaving Mrs. Pike stranded at the altar? What? Well, I... I didn't leave her stranded, sir. I mean, there were plenty of other people there. <laughs> well, you better sort out your domestic affairs, and pretty soon, too. I can't have my platoon denuded every time you decide not to get married. See that it doesn't happen again. My sentiments precisely, sir. Right. Friend? Captain Mallory? Yes, that's right. Ah, I'm Div Ackenquack. <laughs> Good evening. It's my sergeant, Sergeant Wilson... This is Captain Div Ackenquack. <laughs> that's, that's not my name. It stands for Assistant Adjutant Quartermaster General. Ah. I'm Staff Captain Bailey. Brought a few bits of bump round and the new standing orders. Oh, thank you very much. Good news for you on the establishment side. You can make someone up to corporal. That gives you a sergeant, a corporal, and a lance corporal. Oh, that is good news, isn't it, Wilson? Well, yes, I suppose it is. Well, of course it is. <laughs> on Friday night, when Jones is counting coupons, there's been no one to share the burden of command. Well, you can make them up as soon as you like. Just give the names to Ed. He shall have them this pip him up. We don't dally when it comes to decisions. Good. Well, I'll cut along then. Oh, uh, there is just one thing. What's that? The old man's a bit of a stickler about uniform. I wouldn't let him catch you wearing that peak cap with battle dress. Only with field service uniform. I, I don't have field service uniform. Ah, well, in that case, don't wear the hat. Cheerio. <laughs> Damned red tape. Yes, yeah, what a pity, sir. It seems to make you look so much more like an officer somehow. <laughs> Your confidence is much appreciated, Wilson. Well, then, an extra corporal, eh? Yes, yeah, sir. Well, I, I suppose he could give Jones another stripe. Well, of course, he has the maturity. No denying that. And the experience. And the guts. And the meat. And the meat. <laughs> well... We have to disregard that sort of thing, you know, and decide this purely on the grounds of the national interest. Yes, of course, I realise that. Only it's my turn for rump steak next week. <laughs> I think the wisest strategy would be to make up another lance corporal and see who shows the best potential. The question is who? Mm. Walker? Oh. Yeah? He'd have access to the stores. <laughs> oh, I know where we are. He'd be flogging the bayonets for carving knives. <laughs> Well, he did pinch them for us in the first place. Oh, don't mind that. What we need is a man of integrity. Well, what about Godfrey? He's as honest as the day is long. Ah, but could he lead men? Well, no. Well, not from the front. I mean, <laughs> but he couldn't keep up. No. Then there's this bladder trouble of his. Yes. Well, at least we'd know where to find him. <laughs> no, no. For my money, the man for the job is Fraser. Oh, no, no, I don't think he's right at all, sir. I mean, if there's any grumbling, it always seems to come from him. Could be a case of the poacher turned gamekeeper. He was a jack tar, wasn't he? Yes, I believe so, yes, yes. Uh, there's one thing you can say for the boys in blue. They stand firm at the face of the enemy. Yes, well, there's nowhere to run to, is there? <laughs> I pride myself I'm quite a good judge of character, Wilson. Fraser's our man, you'll mark my words. Call him in. Yes, sir. Fraser! Hi... What is it now? Would you come in here for a moment, please? I'm on my way. Ah, Private Fraser. Was there something he wanted? Yes, come in and close the door. Now, Fraser, Sam Wilson and I have been watching you very closely in the last few weeks. Oh, well, sir, I'm sorry, but it's all, it's all this damn bull. Ah, I can't see any sense in it. A smart soldier's a good soldier, Fraser. But I haven't called you in here to discuss spit and polish... We're looking for NCOs. And if I'm any judge of a man, and I think I am, you have the necessary qualities of leadership, discipline, and reliability. Oh, thank you very much, sir. 
You held NCO rank in the Navy, didn't you? I did that, Chief Petty Officer, before I was busted. Busted? I hit the officer of the watch. Did you? We are boot hook. Oh, dear. The crooked end. Well, I... I'm sure you must have had a very good reason, eh, Wilson? Oh, yes, sir. Yes. Oh, I had that. Yes, I thought so. I was drunk. <laughs> well, that's all in the past. Not much danger of that happening again, is there, Wilson? Well, not with the boat hooks, I know. <laughs> so, Fraser, do I take it you'll accept the stripe? Oh, I well. Good man. Get Jones, will you? All right, sir. Yes. Corporal Jones, will you... Jones, what are you doing down there on your knees, for oh. sake? Sorry, sir, so I was just, uh, you know, giving the brass handle a bit of a rub. So. Well, it's a china one. Yeah, well, oh, that accounts for why it wouldn't take the shine. <laughs> Come in, Jones. Yes, thank you, sir, thank you. Now, Jones, I want you to be the first to know that I'm making Fraser here up to Lance Corporal. Permission to speak, sir? Yes. A very good choice. Thank you. We now have the establishment for a full corporal. However... As the commander in the field, I have to ensure that we get the right man with the best fighting potential. Oh, I've got that all right, sir. Just you let me get at him, sir. I'll be in the front there with a cold steel. They don't knock it up and stop. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Jones. All right, I know. We, we know all about that. As I was saying, we will therefore select our corporal from our two lance corporals. Ah, there's a competition, like. Well, that seems fair, doesn't it, Mr. Fraser? It will be if we stop bribing them with a steak. I can assure you, Fraser, that Corporal Jones's activities as a tradesman will in no way influence our decision. Isn't that so, Wilson? Oh, yes, sir. Quite so, sir, yes. Anyway, Mr. Mann, I wouldn't want to take any advantage or put any uh, forward conception on it, you see, sir. I'll, I'll tell you what, Mr. Fraser, uh -huh. I'll hold up their supplies until they've made their choice. Oh, I'd like that fine. Yes. And when they've decided, they can have it again. Or not as the case may be. <laughs> now, I want you to gather round the front of the platform for a lecture. <coughs> Move. Go on, now. Hey, look lively there. Yes, come gather on, now. Come on, now. Look at the platform. Grab at the double. Yes, go, grab a platform at the double. Platoon present, sir. And ready for the lecture. It's all, re all ready for the lecture, sir. <laughs> Thank you, corporals. <laughs> Very interesting, Wilson, to see Jones in action. Now we've given Fraser a stripe. A couple of keen NCOs we've got. Yes, haven't we, Charles? <laughs> now, I want you to pay particular attention to what I'm about to say. Pay attention there, you Pike. Why did he pick on me? Be quiet, Pike. I didn't say a word. Will you stop this incessant talking? <laughs> the fact that Hitler hasn't kicked off with his invasion doesn't mean to say that the whistle's gone for no side. Oh, no, 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 sir. It doesn't mean that, sir. No, no. <laughs> Thank you, Fraser. It's quite on the cards that he'll put recce parties ashore from submarines to find out the disposition of our forces. Uh, that's right, you know. Our captain is right. Such parties could strike at any time before church bells were rung while we're still in our homes or shops. Uh -huh. You might be in the bank, sir. Is that not so, sir? Yes, yes, that's quite right, Fraser. Thank you. But we're going to be ready for them. Our watchword must be... They shall not pass. Beautiful words, sir. Beautiful words. <laughs> so, there we are, at home, probably without guns, when suddenly a ruthless Nazi stormtrooper bursts through the door holding a Luger on a machine gun. There he stands, facing you. What are you going to do? I'd have already done it. <laughs> that will be enough of that, Walker. Got his name, sir. Hear that, Joe? He's got your name. Yes, Pike, you know, I've got his whiskey. <laughs> now, I dare say you think that the situation's pretty hopeless. Absolutely hopeless. Well, it's not. It's not hopeless at all! <laughs> all you need is a clear head, steel nerve, and a quick hand. And a tank. <laughs> that was Walker again, sir. I've got him, sir. Fall into men. Yeah, now, wait a minute, Fraser, wait a minute. Fraser. Wait. Get back to your places, men. Fraser, we, we really mustn't be too hasty. No, Walker, you don't need a tank in a situation like this. You need guts and know-how. I've all got the guts, and by the time you leave this hall, I shall have given you the know-how. Now, two volunteers. You need look no further, Captain Bunner. Well, you look a bit further, sir. I'm over here. Ah, <laughs> uh, two keen men, Fraser and Jones. 
Now, you, Fraser, are a Nazi stormtrooper. Take this pistol. Oh, thank you, sir. Yes? Yes, sir. I want you to imagine that you're in your shop this afternoon, going about your normal business. Have you got that? Yes, sir. Right. Now, you, Fraser, enter from the door. Aye, sir. Permission to speak, sir. Yes. I wasn't in my shop this afternoon, sir. <laughs> well, let, let's imagine that you were. Well, uh, today's early closing, you see, sir. It's early closing. Well, we'll ignore that for the time being. Yes, yes, right, sir. Right, sir. Fraser. I... You burst in, you see Jones, and you tell him to stick him up. Handy hock, sir. Yeah, I beg your pardon? <laughs> Handy hock. That's what they say, sir. That's the Bosch parley vu for stick him up. Oh, thank you. Very much. Right, go on, Fraser. Right, here I come. Handy's hock, England are schwein hunt. Good. <laughs> now, what are you going to do, Jones? I'm going to put my hand in socks up. <laughs> right, right. No sense in antagonizing him. Now, the next thing to do is fix him with a stare. Like this. When you have his attention, you can distract him. Now, look at me, Fraser. Look me straight in the eyes. Right, sir. May I say something, Captain Mongering? Yes, of course. What is it? I never realised before what striking and sincere eyes you have, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much, Fraser. Look out! Behind you! Where? Ah, you see. You look behind you. I could have hit you with this chair while you were turned away. It was awfully good, sir. Thank you, Wilson. Oh, it wasn't a fair, it wasn't a fair, I wasn't ready. No, Fraser, the boss won't be ready either. Now, look here, men. I want you to take particular note of the way I use the chair. You hold it upside down, like this, and then you lunge with the legs, like this. Lunge! Lunge! <laughs> just like a lion tamer, sir. Hey, do you remember Uncle Arthur? We saw one at Bertram Mill Circus just before the war, didn't we? That's right. Well, yes, we did, yes. Awfully good, wasn't it? Oh, no, 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 never, never mind, never mind Bertram Mill. Or Coco. Carried it away. Now, there you are, man. You can deal with a stormtrooper with a gun. There's just one thing, sir. Yes, sir? I haven't got any chairs in my shop. Ah. <laughs> haven't you? Well, I'm sure you could look around and improvise some other weapon. Perhaps you could make him sit on the bacon slicer, Jonesy. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I take his name, sir? No, don't be facetious, Walker. This is a very real enemy that we have to deal with. Let me take his name, sir, please, no, sir, please. thank you, Fraser. Oh, Fraser's going to have to go. Mr. Mannering? Yeah. If Mr. Jones makes the German sit on the bacon slicer... Yeah. Well, will he get a little behind with his bacon ration? <laughs> you stupid boy. <laughs> now, for this next part... I shall need another volunteer. Walk up! You're volunteering? Blimey, I never said a word. <laughs> Good day, Captain Manry. What is it, Wilson? It's about time I think some of the men went on guard. By Joe, so it is. Fall in the guard, Fraser. Fall in the guard! Over here at the double. <coughs> Smarting your ideas up there. Chin in, chest out, stomach in. Squad. Jump! Slow. Hop! Right. Turn. Guard to the command post. Quick. Dance. Right wheel, double march. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Pick him up there, pick him up. You know, Wilson, I think I picked the right one there. Yes, sir. You certainly picked the right one there. <laughs> Come in. Can I see you a moment, sir? Yes, of course. All go well with last night's guard? Aye, <laughs> sir, dead. Here are the charge sheets. Charge sheets? Aye, right. that's what I said, charge sheets. Private Pike deserting his post and cowardice in the face of the enemy. Private Walker, mutiny. <laughs> you're rather serious charges, you know, Fraser. Oh, okay, not fine, sir, and I hope you'll make an example of these men, sir, but dealing with them with the utmost... Severity. I see. Mind leaving us for a moment, Fraser? I'd like to talk to Sam Wilson about this. Certainly, sir. I'll have the prisoners and escorts standing by, sir. Well, Wilson, hmm? what are we going to do about these chaps? Yes, well, I, I don't think we're allowed to put them on a charge. Neither do I. What punishment can we give? Hardly dock their pay. They don't get any. 
What's even worse, all these charges on extra service are court martial offences, carrying the death penalty. Yes, well, perhaps you could give them a good talking to. Oh, what is it now? C come in. Captain Manrin, sir. Yes, Jones? I've got a serious complaint, sir. Lance Corporal Fraser just put me on the fizzle. <laughs> I have that. And there it is, written on the charge sheet. You've got to go through it, sir. He can't do that to me, sir. I'm senior to him. I'm front of the man. He called me a stupid old... <laughs> What it says on the paper, sir. <laughs> now, really, this has gone far enough. Get Walker and Pike in here, Fraser. Aye, sir. Prisoners, come south. Prisoners and escort. Quick, march. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Halt. Right, gun. Prisoners reporting for trial, sir. <laughs> Get that escort out of here. These men aren't desperate criminals on the run. Escort, dismiss. Now, tell me exactly what happened last night. You, Pike. Well, sir, I was in the slip trench when a great big Alsatian came up and barked at me. <laughs> he wouldn't go away, so I went to the guardhouse to get help. Desert then his post, Captain Well, Well, you see, sir, dogs don't like me. Even quite little dogs. I seem to bring out the worst in them. So that's why I went away. Come with this in the face of the enemy, sir. Oh, come. Hardly call an Alsatian an enemy. It's a German dog, sir. Let's <laughs> see. Now, Walker, what about you? Well, I told Jock here, if he went on being so regimental, we'd stop his whiskey. Note that, sir. We'd stop his whiskey. They'd conspire together. That is mutiny. And I just now caught from the Jones in front of my man calling me a stupid old black... What's written on that paper, sir? <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. You said, I suppose you think I'm a stupid old what's on that paper. And I said yes. <laughs> How can it be mutiny to stop him getting his whiskey? Well, I didn't deserve I'm not a coward. Now, look here. I've had about enough of this. I'm going to adjourn this case until I've had time to take legal advice. In the meantime, you all return to your duties, which are to prepare yourselves to defend your homes from the Nazi assault. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Prisoners, about! Oi, 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 I do yeah, that, I do that. I'm the senior one. Prisoners! Get out, all of you. Yes, sir. Get, get out, sir. Left, right, 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 left. Oh. I'm a patient man, Wilson, but I think I'm reaching the end of my tether. Yes. This is exasperating. I'd never believe Fraser would have stirred up all this trouble. Well, I did say I wasn't too keen on him originally. I know you did. As ye sow, so shall ye reap. All, all right. <laughs> Do you want any biblical quotations? How to deal with it is the question. Main Wherry! Oh, oh no, not him again. <laughs> yeah. Main Wherry! Uh, you remember me? Square! Square! Square Snake! Oh, yes, yes, very well, yes. You were with Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's quite correct. What can we do for you, Colonel Square? Corporal Colonel Square. Corporal Colonel? I don't think I understand. Do, uh, do you, Sergeant Wilson? I know it, I know it. I should have thought it was fairly obvious. Want to see some action again. No officer post going, so GHQ sent me to train you in guerrilla warfare as a corporal. Oh, how nice. Good heavens. What on earth are these? The charge sheets. Two five twos, you mean, huh? By Jove, that takes me back. I haven't seen one of these since 1917. Got through 5,000 of them in one month. 5,000 charge sheets? Well, we were right out in the desert, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't get hold of anything else. What? What? <laughs> Now, what fool made these out? Why, aren't they any good? Mutiny is in section 40, neither is Cardiff. <laughs> Playing at soldiers, you're all the same, you chaps. Are your men on parade, Mainwaring? Yes, they're in the hall. Right. I'll start licking them into shape. By the look of these charges, you'll need a bit of discipline around here. Right. Fall in the three reps. Come on now. Jump to it! <sighs> the whole thing's getting out of hand, Wilson. I should be very glad when today's over. Yes, but if these charges aren't properly made out, you can drop them and, you see, and that's the end of it. Yes. As long as we can stop our NCOs from making any more. Captain, my Lord, I've got a complaint. <laughs> you, 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 you have done this deliberately, sir. Fraser, what on earth is the matter now? You and me, 
maniac on the square has put me, me, on a bloody feather. Well, I'll show him. Fraser, Fraser, you can't go through the... Oh, really, Wilson. This is all too much. Yes, I quite agree, sir. I fancy storming right through your office like that and leaving by your personal door, Wilson. And the men, the men know you don't like them using that door. Go oh, be quiet. And get square back in here. Prisoners, let's go! Quick! March! What's happening now? Left, right, left, right, left, right, halt! Right! Up. Me willing, you've got the slackiest platoon I've ever seen. These two men are on two five twos. Pike and Walker. Not you two again. What's the charge this time? Idle on parade, sir. I see. Jones, what are you doing here? I'm on escort duty, sir. Furthermore, I'm charging that Scots NCO of yours with insolence. Uh, Mr. Speaks, sir? Yes. What Corporal Fraser said was much worse than what I was supposed <laughs> to have called in. <laughs> this has got to stop. Wilson, see if Fraser's outside. Huh? Doesn't seem to be any sign of him, sir. He must have gone. Deserting his post. I want him back here at the double. We've all got to come to an understanding. I can't have all my time taken up with these pettifogging little charges. I don't think Fraser will be long, sir. He's only gone round the corner. What do you mean, Walker? What in heaven's name for? He's gone for a boat hook, sir. <laughs> oh, heavens, Wilson. I don't like the sound of this. Well, don't buy it, sir. He probably won't use it. Where is he? Where's that old idiot square? Quick, Wilson. Lock the door. Yes, sir. Where is he? Let me get out him. Which door shall I lock, sir? Both of them, you fool. Don't let him in. Come on out, square. I know you're in there. Captain Manry, sir. What is it, Jones? Do I have permission to assume that Fraser is no longer being considered for the post of corporal, sir? Yes, Jones. I think you do. Well, in that case, sir, I think I might manage a little bit of rump steak this weekend. Let me get that him. I know he's there. I'll bash him with this boat hook. I'll pulverize him. I'll shove his head in. In that episode of Dad's Army from the original television series by Jimmy Perry and David Croft, you heard Arthur Lowe as Captain Mannering, John the Measurer, Sergeant Wilson, Clive Dunn, Corporal Jones, John Laurie, Private Fraser, James Beck, Private Walker, Ian Lavender, Private Pike, Michael Knowles, Captain Bailey, and Geoffrey Lumsden as Colonel Square. The Stripe for Fraser was adapted for radio by Michael Knowles and Harold Snowd and produced by John Dias. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.